Hey everyone and thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So for today's video I am going to share with you some of my favourite things that I will generally pick up at Poundland. I went in there about three days ago and I picked up some things that I needed but also wanted to share with you some of my favourite things that I generally will get out of Poundland um, just because I find it's like one of the cheaper shops to go to and a couple other things that I picked up that I'm really excited to share with you. I'm also excited to say that today's video is in collaboration with a, a group of ladies that I've become really good friends with here on YouTube. We all post very similar content on our channel, so cleaning motivation, organisation, day in the life, mum style vlogs, shopping, a bit of everything. So if you enjoy my content, then I know for sure you guys will enjoy their channels. They're all absolutely brilliant. So I thought I would do this collaboration with them. I'm going to leave all their details linked down below for you guys to go and check out once you finish watching my video. We're all just going to be sharing sort of like a Poundland haul, Poundland favourites, just Poundland. This is just for Poundland. So we thought we would share that with you guys. So if you do enjoy, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed, I'd love it if you would turn on that notification bell because Christmas is certainly coming and I have some exciting videos coming. So the first item I'm actually going to share with you first because my daughter is upstairs and I know she is desperate to be in this video. So these are actually for her Christmas. I think I might give her them in stocking or I might give it as a gift. I'm not 100% sure. But she is at the age now, she's four, she's going to be five in January, where she's starting to really notice a lot of things that girly things on the TV. She talks about LOL dolls all the time. Now, if you're anything like me, I just cannot justify spending that money. I might, I might try and find like a really good deal and get something so she can have LOL something for Christmas. But... I do know that my sister is hopefully going to get her this LOL sort of interactive watch, so she will have that, but she's desperate for an LOL doll, so I'm going to keep my eye out and see if I can find one for a decent price. But I have come across these in um, Poundland. They're £3, so £3 from Poundland. Um, but they're they're basically like those LOL dolls that you get. So in here, you can get like a figure and accessories. So it's quite similar to the LOL balls. I've never bought them before, but they're like, I don't know, 10, 15 pounds, something like that. So they're really expensive. But my daughter got just as much excitement from this that I know she would from an LOL doll. So these are really good. So the first, she's had two of them before and she's loved them. The first one, she got a little mermaid and a princess dolly and then a little hair clip and two other little things. And then in her other one, it was kind of just all the accessories. But like it says on it, there's 150 toys. 150 toys to collect. And yeah, they're really good. So for £3, I think I might maybe, maybe, maybe get her one more. And I might make it like a, a gift. But if you're looking for sort of like an alternative to LOL dolls, she's only four. She'll be so happy with these. It's about the sort of name of it being LOL that I think that she really wants. I don't think she would notice. If this was wrapped in LOL, I think she would be thinking it's the same thing. So anyway, we've got these £3. So if you guys are looking for something similar to like those LOL dolls, then I highly recommend these. She had so much fun packaging. They're so wasteful, the amount of plastic on them. But most toys are, unfortunately. And it's just one of those things that I will try and recycle as much as I possibly can. But highly recommend these if you're looking for something like an LOL doll for your daughter or your son. I have tried this one before and it's absolutely incredible. It's the Imperial Leather Mallow Amazing Limited Edition one and it's, oh my goodness, it smells so good. My daughter's really keen to use it as well. And even my husband said it really good. So Poundland's really good for things like this that are on deal because if you go to ads and stuff, sometimes these can be over a pound. And then this is quite a decent size as well. So I like to go to Poundland for these sort of things because I think they're always a little bit cheaper. And obviously Asda and Aldi and whatever can have deals on, but generally if you go to Poundland, these are the sort of things that you'll always get that are a pound. So I picked this one up, but it is one of our staples that we will go there. I don't get a lot of these sort of fancy smelling ones, but I picked this one up and it smells amazing and I'm excited to use that one. And another thing we will always go to Poundland for is our hairspray. Now, we really like the Tresemme hairspray, so it's this one. Now, sometimes this can be in Tesco and Asda for £5. Now, I have never paid that for it. I will not. I cannot justify it. So I'm always looking for a deal. And sometimes Tesco and Asda just, sometimes they are like competing. So one one place will have it for like £2.50 or £3 while it's got, the other shop's got it for a fiver. And sometimes they're both just really expensive. So if we go to Poundland, I get it for £2.50 and I absolutely love this hairspray. My husband has quite long hair as well, so it's perfect for him. Um, it keeps his hair in place and it definitely keeps my hair in place. So highly recommend this hairspray if you haven't tried it and it's one of the staples that I will always go to Poundland for because it's just so much cheaper and it's really good. And for the same size, you're paying £5 as it and I just cannot justify it. So if you're looking for a decent hairspray, I recommend this one. It is a little bit more costly than a lot of hairsprays, but we use it and it lasts for us. And yeah, it's just always been one of those things that we get. I'm not a massive fan of brand products. I'm quite happy with store brands. It doesn't have to be like a, a popular brand, 
But when it comes to certain things like my fairy liquid and my hair spray, these are the two that I absolutely love. So yeah, highly recommend Tresemme. This It's the white one. Yep, Poundland staple for £2.50. So another thing I like to go to Pineland for are obviously my cleaning products. Sometimes, like I say, as done Tesco and places like that can have really good deals, but it's always just real, like it's just always so reliable going to places like Pineland and just getting things for so much cheaper. So I use these, what do they call them? Brillo pads is the proper brand, but these are basically just Pineland's own version. Just as good, they last just as got long and I love them. They're really good for obviously doing like your oven, like the screen on your oven, the glass part, and obviously doing your oven trays and pots and pans that have obviously been burnt a little bit. So they're really good. Highly recommend Pound from Poundland. Um, and they're just as good as the Brillo pads and the Brillo pads can be quite expensive. I have tried the Asda's own version of these. They weren't as good, but these ones are really good. I've had these before and I regularly will buy these from Poundland when I go there. So yep, yeah, highly recommend those. Another thing I always seem to go back to one of the cleaning products I love is Astonish. Now, I've used a, I use quite a few of their products. I use their stain remover for the carpet. I've got a, like an air freshener, not an air freshener, a upholstery freshener thing that I can spray on my sofa sometimes. But I really, really, really love their disinfectants. Now I haven't really been buying too many of these styles sprays lately because I'm trying to use up what's in the bottom of my, underneath my sink. So many different types of products. I need to clear through it, but there is a few that I still would like to pick up that I love to use regularly. Astonish is definitely one of them. They also do a carpet cleaner. I couldn't find it in the Poundland that I was going to and I desperately need some, but I've always bought it in Poundland. Um, the, is the Astonish carpet cleaner. It's only a pound. It's amazing. This is only a pound. So I actually have never bought the Pine one before, but I'm sure I've had a Pine I've had the Pine Disinfectant the Star Drops, or I think that's the brand of it, before. Um, but I haven't tried the Astonish one, but I love anything to do with Astonish products. So yeah, another sort of staple that I go to Poundland for, and one of my favourites to get is this um, from Poundland, which is only a pound. I feel like I've said Poundland a lot in this video, but this video is... So I don't want to keep saying it, but I am. Anyway, another thing I pick up... Um, at regular like, places like Poundland are like your nose pore strips. I do have quite bad pores on my nose so I like to try and use these. I do have an electric pore um, cleaner but I don't really know what it is right now. I should probably find that. Um, but I always love going back to these. I like the fact that these are charcoal ones. I've used a charcoal face mask before but like I've mentioned in previous videos my face can be really sensitive and the face masks don't really do very well on my skin but the nose pore strips are really good so we get these for a pound Sometimes you can go into places and these can be two, three pound, but for six of them at Poundland, it was only a pound. So I generally will pick those up when I go there as well. And then I really needed some plasters. My daughter really wanted the unicorn ones, so we picked them up as well. I don't think I've ever actually had these ones before, but they're unicorn plasters, I mean. Can't go wrong with plasters. So I picked those up. And the sort of final sort of health thing I got was this um, heat rub massaging cream. Again, this was only a pound. I've been struggling with a bad back. I've actually had a bad back pretty much since my daughter was born. Um, it kind of comes and goes and I think we really, really, really need a new mattress, but we just cannot justify that kind of money just now. So I'm using this. I've used this a couple of times. This is really good. My husband prefers a sort of deep freeze, the cold one, and I like the hot one. So I picked this up for a pound. And it's definitely working. Heat definitely works on my lower back better. Um, but sometimes with my lower back, I can get like a sore stomach with it all. And yeah, so it's nice to get this on and make my back feel a bit better. And I usually just sit with the hot water bottle on my back as well. So anyway, yeah, again, the sort of thing that we'll go to Poundland for is like our paracetamol, ibuprofen, um, those kind of things. It depends if I'm there, if I've run out of things, I will maybe just pick them up at Aldi and Asda. I will generally pick up those kind of things there. So yeah, I got that as well for a pound. I also got my cat her summer treats. So I looked at the the dog treat section and there's such a variety there but my sort of family dog is really fussy um she only likes certain treats and they didn't have the ones that she would usually have but they had um cat treats for my cat so i picked these up for kelly she's a little scrounger so she'll eat absolutely anything and i got some cheese ones and beef ones and they're always so good such a good thing to pick up at poundland is your sort of cat treats and your dog treats and stuff they're always such a good price so again a pound each for those and then I also picked up some cotton wool buds. Now, a good friend of mine here on YouTube, her name is Charity, and her channel is Mummy with Charity. She shared a really good idea on using cotton balls for like a craft idea for ghosts. So I'm going to do that with my daughter, I think. Um, tomorrow, I think we said we'd do that. But I only had the sort of cotton pads and I needed the cotton balls. Them up from Poundland, and we're going to do that. And it's also something that I've done before in the past for a Christmas decoration, again, which I will use for my daughter. And it's just a little bit of fun. Obviously, we're not going very far this year, so it'd be nice to sort of have things like this in. So we are going to do that. So thank you, Charity. I will use these up and hopefully share if they look good. I probably shouldn't be showing this because I've eaten most of it. 
But if you are like me and you love Toblerone, I love Toblerone. It's one of my favourite chocolates to have. But it can be quite costly to get like a decent sized bar. So as you can see, I have already um, started eating this one. So this is like a standard Toblerone size, which you're probably paying about three, four pound for. Um, this was only a pound. This is Poundland's version of it. They do a whole different bunch of them. They do like honeycomb, dark chocolate. This is my favourite. It's the white chocolate and almond and honey one. And it's... This is one of my favourite chocolate bars to get from Poundland. It's so cheap and if you love Toblerone like me, you will love this. It is such a good alternative, such a cheap version and it is highly, highly, I highly recommend getting this one. Um, try it out if you're a Toblerone fan. Like I said, I've already started snacking on it. I'm trying to be good so I'm trying not to eat it all. I literally could have eaten all this in one go. But that is another thing that I like to pick up from Poundland quite regularly. I like to go there and I always try and pick up myself one to keep in the cupboard. And it's just one of those things that I like to go back to. But yeah, highly recommend trying that out if you hadn't. My daughter likes it too, so we have been munching on that. And I'm sure she'll want some when she sees it again. Yay, I found the receipt. I never find the receipts. Okay, okay. So the final few things I did pick up from Poundland were Christmas related. Of course, it's me. And you know, if, I'm, if you know me at all, I'm absolutely obsessed with Christmas. And... Basically last year I said on my Christmas decorating videos that we don't have a massive amount. We've got what we've got through things that our family have given us, things that we've picked up, but we have only lived in sort of flats and last year was our first year in a house together as a family, whereas it's either it's been with fat, like parents before or we've been living in flats or apartments. So we've not really had a lot of space to get things. So I said to my husband last year that I'd like to try and set some money aside so this year I can sort of pick up things that I can put away and add to our collection year after year. So I have picked up a few things and I will be sharing a video on that very soon if you guys are interested. So make sure you stick around for those. But I've picked up a couple of things. These are just really nice things just to have sort of in my daughter's room, top of the landing next to our small Christmas tree. Something I really wanted to get was, you know, those um, fake presents that you get that would light up under your tree, but they're like, what, 15, 20 pounds. And I just didn't want to spend that as well on top of what I've already bought. So that's maybe what I'm going to buy myself next year. There was another thing I really would like to get, but again, it was about 20 to 30 pounds. And I just didn't want to buy so much. Obviously we are on a budget, so I can't afford to spend it all. So I picked up these. So like going back to those presents, I picked up these. These were a pound each from Poundland. And they are absolutely perfect for what I want them for. So they are just little, they're they're, they're obviously just flimsy and I'm not 100% sure if I'll be, able to, I'll be able to store them until next year. I'm going to obviously try. But so basically at the top of our landing upstairs, I have a little small tree and these are going to sit there. So it's like little presents under that tree. But they actually light up as well. So I thought they would be so nice sitting up next to the tree at the top of the stairs. And then we've got this one as well. I mean, for a pound, obviously I'm going to try and keep them and make sure that they don't get ruined. But for a pound, you're not going to be so, so upset if they get ruined and you cannot use them again next year. But I absolutely love them. And this is exactly, this is exactly what I was looking for. Obviously, I would love the sturdy ones that I can pull out year after year. But unfortunately, I just don't have that spare money just now. So I picked up those to sit at the top of my tree and I'm really excited by them. And I love them and they're so colourful and Christmassy and yes, yeah, everything that I love about Christmas. So we picked up those. And the last two things I picked up were actually these as well. This was, I think they're probably gonna go my daughter's room. Maybe I'll put one on the top of the stairs as well. But they're little, I don't really know what's going on with his hat. I'm not sure, I don't wanna pull it and rip it. So I'm gonna have a look at that. But they are little sort of Santa and snowman. And again, these light up. And I just thought they were so cute. I just love Christmas. I love everything bright and colourful and sparkly and oh, I just love it. So anyway, I picked up these to go next to the presents or to go downstairs. They might even be little things that my son plays with. Just, I don't know, just I thought they were perfect. And again, these are the sort of things that you will pull out year after year to either go in your kids' rooms or just sort of little extra decorations to lie around. And yeah, I love them. I love them. So yeah, picked up those as well. And so that pretty much is everything that I picked up from Pineland. I really hope that you enjoyed this haul. Like I said, I go to Pineland for staples, things like my hairspray, body wash, cleaning products. But then I also like to go in there and pick, oh yeah, and my chocolate is another staple. But then I really like going in there sort of seasonal and seeing what sort of crafts they have. So obviously at Easter, Halloween, Christmas, even Valentine's Day, they have so many sort of different, they have like a section in there and it's so good. I, I love going in there to get like loads of little crafty things. I've picked up a couple of my kids sort of Christmas presents. Like I said, I showed you that one for my daughter. Again, highly recommend if your kid is talking about lol dolls or into that sort of thing, then highly recommend getting these at £3. And the amount of fun that she had opening it as well as playing with it was worth it. 
and I just couldn't justify the little doll. Like I said, if I see anything decent or it's on a decent price, I might pick her up something for Christmas. But I highly recommend picking those up because they are a really good deal. Um, so yeah, Pylon's a really good place to go and get these kind of staples. Looking to get sort of your regular cleaning products and things like your hairspray and stuff from cheaper places that are going to be consistently low price, I would highly recommend heading over to Poundland. That's why me and these lovely ladies collabed on this video because we love that store. It isn't a store I get to that often because I don't have one super local to me. And obviously with COVID, I'm not traveling as far, but we had to nip out and do a couple other errands the other day. And so I decided to nip in there and film this haul for you. So I really hope that you enjoy. Please head on over and check out those lovely ladies now that you've finished watching this video. They are all amazing. Like I said, they pose very similar content to myself hauls, home style, motherhood, lifestyle, cleaning, organizing, everything like that. If that's what you're into and if you enjoy my channel, then you will enjoy their channels. So head on over, let them know that I sent you. And if you're coming from those channels, then hi, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Really hope that you enjoyed this haul. And yeah, that is pretty much the end of the video. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.